Good morning all, John Scully here. Lots on the go, so I'm going to try and give you my report with images and sounds in under five minutes. Starting off, we have our Design Media Arts programming happening in Ontario with projects in Toronto, Hamilton, Windsor, and at Saganaska School in Belleville. I'll show you some of the highlights. DMA in Windsor is going great guns. We have Sherry Campo, who's a terrific media and visual artist, as well as a new artist, Nick DeCasson, who does all kinds of amazing stuff using 3D printers and other interesting elements. And he and she are leading projects in a couple of schools with instructional coaches from both of those schools. So we're having really great support from the school board and the artists are really getting the teachers excited. Uh, at a recent workshop, uh, one of the things that came forward was they were very, very excited that the creative process was something that was being explored and being put first in front of the curriculum. DMA in Toronto is working with four schools, including two music champion schools, and the teachers are responding really positively to the exploration. In our Toronto DMA workshop last week, the teachers further explored provocations as well as how to use social media like Slack, Twitter, and Instagram in their teaching practice. They appreciate the opportunity to be guided through that process. Okay, let me get rid of the lines. I've been trying to do this all year. I finally got it. <laughs> we explored the possibilities of letting go of control in your classroom and giving your learners more of a voice in their exploration and learning journey. The teachers appreciated this model and said they would take it back to their own teaching practice. In our Hamilton DMA programming, one of the more reluctant teachers from our first workshop came up with the idea of using stop motion in her classroom even though she had no experience with it. We decided to use that as an inspiration for the workshop we led with the teachers and it was incredible to see the transformation in her excitement about being involved in DMA. All of the teachers ended up using stop motion as a tool to be able to share where they're at in their process with DMA right now. It provided them an opportunity to be articulate and focus really clearly on what they're hoping to accomplish in their DMA projects. They worked on this throughout the whole day and by the end, everybody had something that described what they were going to accomplish and how. They also learned some new technology and creativity skills to bring back to the classroom. They spoke about how much they appreciated being able to expand their learning capacity in a relaxed and supported manner. Our FNMI DMA program in Ontario is taking place in Tainanaga Territory and in Six Nations. The program is going along pretty well, but we have a couple of bumps along the way. Shelley, if you have a chance to check in with Lindsay and give her a bit of support in terms of reaching out to the school and coordinating things, that would be appreciated. I know she thinks of you as a mentor, and getting some additional support from you probably would be really helpful for her. I'll finish up by talking about the Pathfinder app, which we've been developing over the last several months. We're headed down to the Connect Conference in Niagara Falls today with a team from LTTA to show what we've been accomplishing in SIG Social, DMA, as well as app development. Diana and Nikita, two young women who started the app back in November, have been working with us over the past several months. And I'll let them tell you what this journey has been like. It's been exciting and challenging. Our ideas changed quite a bit throughout the whole process of app development or ideation right from the beginning to the very end. We pivoted and we kept having different prototypes that we created you know, again and again and again until we met the user's needs. What surprised me the most about this was the amount of teamwork that went into it. Um, I did not expect it to require so many meetings and whatnot. But in the end, with all different perspectives and walks of life and different you know, talents and you know, thought processes, it, it just helped us come together and create Pathfinder. The work like, really surprised me too, but I, I felt like getting the idea was only halfway and then when we got to, we really had to like stick to it and like persevere through actually creating the app because it, it took like a lot of iterations to get it through and then feedback and then back and forth. It was actually, it was so long. But it was very challenging, which I didn't expect it to be. Um, we, I think we all went through phases of frustration, uh, you know, then being very happy with the end product. And it was just a constant cycle of emotions and efforts and, you know, but in the end, it all worked out.